All right, we're here with Joel Schneeberger with the Brandenburg crew at EXP Realty. And now we've talked about a lot of different things throughout this time of all the cold weather. Well, now we're finally warming up. How's that spring market looking? You know, the spring market is looking uh, very strong again this year. There's still not enough homes on the market to meet the demand on average. And you hear that, people must automatically assume, oh, okay, so if I list my house, it's going to get sold like that. Yeah, exactly. But it's really not quite that easy. As I said, it's on average. There are dozens of factors that uh, sellers need to be aware of to ensure that they're getting the top dollar for their home. I think there's a lot of people who think, you know what, I can sell my house by myself and probably make more money. Give people examples of what you guys at the Brandenburg Crew do to make sure people get top dollar. It's a, it's a combination of many different tactics that we we put together. We're, first of all, analyzing trends from neighborhood to neighborhood. We take that information to give sellers the information they need to make the right decisions. As part of our free in-home consultation, we're going to go through a detailed checklist and make sure that your home is prepared and that you are maybe completing small projects here or there, maybe something as simple as rearranging furniture to make sure that that home, compared to other homes that are on the market, also known as your competition, that you have the best one out there and you're going to beat the competition and get the top dollar. I think there's some people who might have misconceptions in their head and think, well, I need to get this fixed. I need to get, or I need to update this. You guys can give them a great rundown of what actually is in their best interest to make sure they get the best money out there. Yeah, absolutely. We sell hundreds of homes every year, so we know what buyers are looking for. So we're going to give you the right advice to just pay attention to the things that we really know buyers are looking for, and that's going to help the sale of your home go smoothly as well as getting the top dollar. Well, and one thing I'm always interested in, because everybody thinks they need to update everything, sometimes updating isn't the right move because people might not like the updates that you do. Yeah, exactly. And you also have to compare the dollars you're putting in versus the dollars that you can get out. It's now not always a dollar for dollar match. So example, you know, if I do a new, new kitchen and I spend $50,000, can tomorrow, can I list it for $50,000 more? Maybe, maybe not. I think that's the example of it's almost the bad thing about like the property brothers, just because the property brothers did it doesn't mean you're going to do it. There's a lot more to it when you start digging into projects like that and, and money that you want to spend versus moving on with your life, hitting your goals, maybe moving on to your dream home. Well, and you had mentioned to me before the three P's. What are the three P's? <laughs> well, the three P's are putting a sign in the yard, putting it on the internet, and praying that it sells. And obviously that's not the right way to do things. No, we take a lot more time and, and effort to make sure that we are doing everything possible to make sure that you get the top dollar for your home. And it's not just putting it up there. Every Everything's on the internet today. It's our marketing that we put into place after you list your home that helps us find the right buyers for your home. I think that's the key because that's always what's impressed me about you guys is the marketing because there are a lot of people who think, well, if I just put it on the internet, people are going to find it. You guys go far beyond just putting it on the internet. Yeah, this is not just about you know, throwing it out there. It's about talking to people. Our team is literally talking to hundreds of buyers every single week. And of course, the homes that we're listing are the homes that are are the ones that we talk about because that's our job is to help sell those homes. That's got to be the crazy thing with the Brandenburg crew that people don't realize is they may be thinking about listing their home and then they hear from you guys, well, we already have three people who'd be interested in your exact home. Yeah, uh, just this week, uh, exact scenario. We've uh, already showed a buyer a home that's not on the market yet. I want to be that person who sells his home before <laughs> it even hits the market. That's a win right there. Well, I'm not going to throw out any guarantees, but that's part of what we do and part of the results that we're getting. It's also why we were able to sell homes in about half the time of, of the market average. Well, and one thing I wanted to get to as well, Joel, especially now with all this snow melt and everything going on, I'm guessing you guys get a lot of questions about how that impacts a home. Yeah, absolutely. It relates to, you know, I've got all this snow in my yard. I don't know if I should list my home. But really what we're looking at is how do you protect your home? Whether you're selling your home or not, you need to be aware of water and what it can do to your home. Number one is your sump pump. You've got you've to go down and test it. I think a lot of people just assume, well, water comes in, it's going to pump out. Magic. But you've got to really go down test it. Um, I look at mine almost every day because we don't know how quickly that water is going in. And the other thing is when it's pumping the water out, where is that water going? If you're not getting it away from your foundation, guess what it does? goes right back down and pumps out again. And you just keep that cycle going. And the other thing is when you, you have that exit from your home where that water is pumping, if it's covered with snow right now, that water's not going anywhere. 
It's just constantly recycling. It's going to add up and eventually it's going to overflow and you're going to have wet carpet and you're going to have problems. It's almost amazing how many people end up cleaning up the situation and not even thinking like, oh, I could have been working on preventing this. Yeah, absolutely. Preventive. You know, I've talked to insurance agents and and a lot of experts out there in the community about this topic. And, you know, it's no fun. And if you have a flood right now or if you have damage in your basement, how many other people do you think are having the same thing? How long do you think it's going to take to find a contractor to actually get to your home? Insurance claim, contractors, it could be end of summer before you're done with this problem. Well, and the nice thing, if you're thinking about selling, this is all stuff that you guys will cover as well in your consultations. Yeah, absolutely. We know that this is one thing that our buyers are looking at. It's one thing that home inspectors are looking at. So we want to address some of these issues up front. So when your home goes on the market, Buyers have that confidence already. They walk through your home and they look at some of these details and they see that, wow, this is already taken care of. This is taken care of. And that in their mind is saying that this home is worth what is listed for. I think some people might be like worried about the consultation part because they feel like they're being told what to do. You guys are just basically giving them scenarios that would probably work out best for them. Yeah, absolutely. You know, our we, we love what we do. We're going to work hard for, for everybody we work for. And it, knowledge is power. We're here to educate people so that they can make the best decisions for themselves. On the same line, we're not here to just sugarcoat things and say, oh, looks great. We're going to be honest with you and help you uh, help you get the most for your home. The best part about it, having a team at your side when you're going through a stressful time like trying to sell your home. Yeah, for sure. We definitely have access to all the experts. We have the experience that we're, we're going to get you on the right path. Well, and we're spring now. This is the time, right? If people are thinking about selling, this is where they should get moving. Yeah, absolutely. You're looking out there at the snow on the ground. You might say, well, I want to wait for a month or two. That means we need to meet right now because it could take a week or two for us to complete some of those projects that result in getting the top dollar. So let's get together right now. Let's make a plan so that you are successful at the end of this process. Joel, always a pleasure. And I feel like I get a little bit more informed every time. So now when I'm watching HGTV, I can go, oh, yeah. (laughs) I, I appreciate it as well. Thanks for the opportunity.